guys welcome back to my channel first of all apologize if it looks like it's a bit dark i was losing some light and yeah that's what you get with home right. if you are new welcome don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notification and if you are returning welcome back thank you for joining me again so today i'm gonna be doing some jumbo bantu nuts it's pretty simple i think the trickiest part is parting the lines but it's a very simple and easy and quick hairstyle so i'm gonna show you guys how i achieve that and yeah let's begin start by first tracing a straight line Course. Now my hair is already moisturized, so you want to do that before you start. Let's get it nice and moisturized, and you can always add more if you need. Now we're going to do the same thing for the other side. Wait. It's a bit too much here. Still a bit much. And I want to get them the exact same size. All right, now that it's somewhat straight, we're gonna start with the bantu. So I want them to be like jumbo size. So honestly, not really small, so pretty big. Hopefully I can get the lines um, straight because that's really what makes the style stand out is when you have like these really nice, you know, neat lines in between the bantu knots. So let's start with this side. So and I decided to use these small rubber bands. So you get a nice grip. And then you just twist it. I like to three three strand twists so they get like a tighter twist. Then you just twist it around like so. Thank you. 
and then you do the next side exactly the same way so like I said this part you do it exactly identical to the next so try as much as you can to make it identical like I always feel I don't know if it's me but I always feel like one side of my hair is like thicker and fuller and the next side is like thinner even though I take almost like the same amount of hair it's just it always feels like this I don't know do you guys feel the same way have the same um, feeling as well like one side of your hair is just more and the next side is less I don't know it's weird okay so now is the tricky part the back because I can't see it and I assume you won't be able to either so I just kind of at least try to make the line straight and just feel the movement honestly just feel the flow of it and just try to keep it like a diagonal shape or like a triangle shape that's always like the the best way and yeah you get what you get So I'm gonna do one side and show you kind of like what I mean and then show you the completed look. I think as you do this more often, you kind of get the hang of it. Although this kind of hairstyle, I don't think everyone, everyone will like it, but you know, there's something out there for everyone. Let me show you this side. And then I'm going to the next side and then we get to the front. So I have completed the back. I have a feeling this side does not look like this side. You guys can let me know but from the way I parted it I already felt like it was not the same let me show you guys so after I'm gonna take a look and see what is the result of it all now this one here we're gonna just part it straight down in the middle again and then we're gonna do a flat twist going down and then twist the end. And there you have it guys. The finish look. Get it a little closer. If you want, you can go ahead and do your edges if it's necessary. If not, I don't feel the need to. So this is the final look. Tell me if you like it, if you hate it. I think it's pretty cute. I had to redo the front part a bit more than once, but I finally got it. So let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe and turn on your post notifications. Thanks for watching, guys.